Hello, for this problem we have a 60 kilogram acoustic panel. It's kind of this rectangular shape here. Uh, it's suspended by three cables uh, with tension 1, tension 2, and tension 3 uh, as shown below. So assuming the panel has a uniformly distributed weight, uh, aka the uh, gravity force is acting in the center of this panel, uh, we want to determine the tension in each of these three cables. Um, so <clears throat> I've got kind of a free body diagram already set up. The one force I need to add uh, is my gravity force. And so it looks like this is 10 meters long and 4 meters wide for the acoustic panel. And so 5 meters out and 2 meters that way, I'm going to have my Fg, my gravity force. So now I've got a complete free body diagram for that. Uh, and the magnitude of my gravity force, Fg, is going to be uh, 60 kilograms times my acceleration due to gravity of 9.81 um, and Fg is going to be 588.6 newtons. Alright, so I need to figure out what's going to be useful and what's not going to be useful in terms of my equilibrium equations. Um, so in the x direction it looks like I have no forces. Uh, in the y direction it looks like I have no forces. Uh, and in the z direction, it looks like I have all of my forces. Uh, so sum of forces in the z direction uh, is going to be T1 plus T2 plus T3 minus 588.6 um, is equal to zero. So that's one equation, uh, and it looks like I've got three unknowns, the three tension forces, so I need uh, three equations for that. All right, so <clears throat> next I'm going to need to find my um, moment vectors. And so for that, I'm going to use the cross product, uh, which is a vector operation, to find all the moments about this point over here. Let's call this point A. All right, so the moment, again, is going to be equal to R cross F. And so I'm going to need to find the R and the F vectors uh, for each one of these. And R is the uh, vector going from point A out to some point on that vector. In this case, the base, kind of on that board. All right, so let's look at, let's look at the moment of T1. And that's going to be R cross F. And so R is going from here. This is R1 uh, out to there. So I'm going 4 meters in the x direction. I'm going 0 meters in the y direction and 0 meters in the z direction. Cross. And my force vector, uh, it's all in the z direction. Um, so it's 0, comma, 0, comma, T1. All right, and if I use, uh, for me, I was using MATLAB to do these uh, cross products. Uh, it was just kind of easy to kind of set up and do them one after another. Uh, the moment due to tension 1 is going to be 0, 4, T1, 0. All right. So now I need to find the moment due to tension 2. Now my R vector kind of goes out here. This is R2. Uh, and so for that, I got 4 meters in the x direction and 7 meters in the y direction, and then 0 meters in the z direction. So 4, 7, 0 my R vector. And I've got 0, comma, 0, comma, T2 for my force vector. All right. So simply plug them into the cross product calculator um, and we get 7T2 minus, comma, minus 4, T2, comma, 0. 
All right, so the moment due to T3, doing the same thing. So T3, my R vector is going out this way. It's zero in the X direction, uh, five meters in the Y direction, and zero meters in the Z direction. All right, and now my force vector, uh, zero comma, zero comma, T3. And so the T3 vector is pointing right in the Z direction. All right, so those are my three unknown forces. Or, sorry, I forgot to solve for this one. MT3 uh, is equal to five T3 comma, zero comma, zero. All right, I also need to find the moment that this gravity force exerts. So this is R, I call it RG. All right, and so the moment exerted by this gravity force uh, is equal to R cross F again. And so R, going from point A out to here, I go two meters in the X direction and then five meters in the Y direction. So it's going to be two comma five comma zero for the R vector. And for the force vector, zero comma zero comma, uh, and it's negative 588.6 newtons in the Z direction. And so the moment due to gravity uh, is going to be equal to negative 2,943, comma, 1,177, comma, zero. All right, so now I have components. I've got moment vectors and each one of these is already in component form. And so what I need to do is I'm going to add up all of the X components. And so X component 1, for T, 2, 3, and 4. Add up all the Y components, it's the second part of these moment vectors. And add up all the Z components. And I can notice that the Z components, um, I've got a 0, 0, 0, and 0. That's going to be kind of an uninteresting equation uh, for the Z components. So X and Y are going to be the helpful ones uh, for this. And so the sum of moments in the X direction is going to be equal to well, 0 for T1, 7 T2, plus 5t3 minus 2,943, uh, and the sum of those numbers has to be equal to zero. All right, so there's one of the moment equations that's going to be helpful. In the y direction, that's the other equation that's going to be helpful. And so I just need to add up all the y components here. And so for the y components, I have 4t1, negative 4t2, 0, and 1,177. And so let's write those out. I've got negative 4t1, positive 4, or sorry, it's negative 4t2. Um, plus 1,177 is equal to zero. All right, so now I've got three equations and three unknowns. So I had my original sum of forces in the Z equation. Now I've got sum of moments about X and sum of moments about Y. All right, so uh, for this I use computer tools uh, just because it's a little bit more complicated. Um, so if I plug these all into MATLAB and solve um, those three equations that way, I get T1 is 84.1 newtons, T2 
T2 is 210.2 newtons, and T3 is 294.4 newtons. That corresponds to what I have over here. Uh, T1 is the smallest, uh, it's kind of out on the edge, and then the two near the center, T2 and T3, are actually holding the bulk of the weight uh, with 210 and 294 newtons each. Uh, so with that, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.